Get it, bro. Oh, oh. They, oh sh. What's good, YouTube? So today's plans are we're gonna try to finish the rear brake rotors on the 350Z. And I believe Ivan's gonna be working on the t-shirt display. Hopefully he gets that done because we really need that in our showroom. People have been like coming into our shop and not being able to see all the t-shirts that we have for sale. So let's start the day. Ivan's prepping everything right now. This time we're gonna take it a little slower and explain the process of actually the entire install. And before we get into this video, I do wanna give a shout out to R1 Concepts on shipping us these amazing rotors for the 350Z. I'm excited to get these installed and test them out on the road. First thing first, you have to remove the lug nuts so you can take off the wheel. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna re remove the brake pads from the brake caliper. And I'm gonna unscrew these bolts right here. There's one on the top and then one on the bottom and that basically takes out the brake pad. So I just removed the top bolt from the brake caliper. Turns out that the bolt on the very bottom, this screw does not want to come out. Like this thing is being a bitch. I don't know if it's because it's like an old screw or they just had it really tight. I'm not sure, but we're gonna try to remove this right now. So I was able to take that bottom screw out and I was able to remove the brake pads from, from the brake caliper. Now that's all that's left is this uh, bracket right here. And the way you remove the bracket is there's another bolt. There's another two bolts, one at the top here on the side and then one directly under it. There we go, there's screw number one. Nope, not, nope, not, nope, yet. not yet. Let's go ahead and take out that second screw from the bottom of the bracket. I think I got it. You got it, bro? No clearance on No this clearance? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, I don't know what just happened, but I just broke something. So we just got the second screw out of the bracket. Now we're able to remove it. There it is. So as we were filming this, we had a slight, actually a big complication with uh, taking these rear rotors off. This man got no tools. This shit right here is keeping the entire rotor from coming out and we do not have the right size, right size socket to take this thing out. Looks like we gotta get a sponsorship from Gio's dad. Or or husky or craftsman or snap craftsman. On, snap on, snap on. Look up, snap look on. Up, man. Well, fortunately, we are not going to be able to end this vlog on a good note, and we're probably going to have to continue this another day. And if this shit sucks, but what I can do, and this video was going so good, so I'm a little fucking bummed out right now. Oh yeah, I growing. am growing, as you can see. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna Photoshop myself like two times taller so I can catch up to this guy right here. <laughs> what I was planning on doing is I was going to put the trim piece that was left over on What's it called? You don't even know what it's called. He said, what it, you right now, double thing? What you the double thing? I'm over here having like a brain fart. I'm st I'm still a little bummed that we can't finish this video. I really wanted to do those damn rotors and test and test them out today. Anyways, let's get this center trim piece done so my screen actually fits in with the flush. We kind of figured it out. I'm thinking it's the rust that's not letting the rotor come out. So I got my boy Gio, we're spraying some WD-40 and he's hitting it as hard as he fucking can. I don't know if it's usually supposed to be this hard. There it is. Oh, I think Look. we got it, woo! Shout out to my boy Gio over here. There it is, baby. Nice. Looks like we're back in action and we're gonna get this done today. Shout out to Gio once again on helping us out. If the rust caused that problem, usually not supposed to happen. So never mind that screw, that screw I was talking about earlier. Now that we got the rotor on, which was a bitch, we're gonna put the bracket back on here. Well, I know it's gonna be kind of hard to see guys, but there's a screw up here. We just put the brake pads back in the bracket. Now we have to put the caliper back on top and then screw them. There's two screws, one at the top, one at the bottom. You always gotta make sure this shit's on. Pull it, Frankie. As hard as possible. We officially 
finished putting on this new rotor. We got the brake pad, the brake caliper, everything placed back on, and then the new rotor, obviously. It was a little rusty at first, so sorry for the little situation we had earlier. We're gonna continue with the other side, and I, I believe that Ivan's gonna take over just so we could wrap it up. I hope you guys have learned a lot from just this install. I enjoy the rest. Get it, bro. Oh, oh. No, oh shit. That's all four rotors on the 350Z. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. So we got one, two, three, and four. So now that we're done, let's go ahead and put the wheels back on. We officially have Everything done with the 350Z with the rotors. Check them out. It's pretty sweet. I really do need wheels though. What's up, bro? Are you talking to Varstone? Varstone? What's up with the wheels? Varstone, you in here? I'm gonna end the vlog right here and choose a YouTube giveaway winner. I'm gonna display you right here. Congrats to our YouTube giveaway winner. If you're wondering how you can win our YouTube giveaway, all you have to do is comment on this video. We will be choosing a new giveaway winner on our next vlog. If you enjoyed watching this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. I'll catch you guys in our next vlog. Peace out. Riders on the storm. Riders on the storm.